So what the hell happened to FTX and how can you protect yourself in the future? FTX is a crypto exchange. It's like a crypto bank. So the difference is they created their own crypto called FTT, which they owned a ton of. FTX funded itself with those FTT tokens. So they funded themselves with their own currency. This is something that only usually governments can do. So Sam Bankman Freed is the founder and there's three companies that he's the owner of. FTX Exchange, FTX Ventures, which was a division that lent out loans to other crypto projects and companies, and Alameda Research, who were the trading hedge fund division. So investors and normal people put their money into FTX, the exchange. Some of that money was given to FTX Ventures, who used it to give out as loans. And some of that money was given to Alameda Research, the trading arm, who used leverage when and trading. Trading with leverage is the biggest red flag in crypto. On November the 2nd, an article came out that exposed FTX and Alameda Research. So a rival exchange called Binance saw that and then they decided to sell all of their FTT tokens, which caused the price to dump. And it meant that the leverage trades that Alameda Research were doing failed. And so they lost the money that users deposited into FTX. So when people tried to pull their money out of FTX, they didn't have it, right? So then FTX had to sell any assets that they had, including Bitcoin, to try and pay the people who wanted to leave. Right? And that caused prices to drop even more everywhere. So it was all a big mess and a big spiral down to zero for FTX and Alameda. So the problem right now is that FTX have invested into other projects. So this could be the beginning of a bunch of different crypto coins, businesses, NFT projects, all going broke. For example, BlockFi. If you have an account on BlockFi, I don't know if it's still possible for you to get your money out of there, but you should probably do that ASAP. The final question that I don't have time to talk about right now is if you can't keep your funds on FTX, then who the hell can you trust? This is the question that I'll be answering in my next video. So subscribe to me if you want to see that.